So next up, we got CC Answers, and we have some doozies. CC Answers. So we're going to start with uh, Tubby Mora, at the Tubby Mora. Used to be a member of uh, Encyclopedia. He's not anymore? I, he still might be, but it, his Twitter name used to okay. be right. Encyclopedia. So. Right. Uh, so he wants to know, uh, are there any other things we collect other than video games? Oh, I should have brought some stuff. And he wanted visual proof. Um, oh, he did? Yeah. Dang it! Yeah, I should really look at the questions. I like that. I, I like the, the spontaneity of uh, of finding out here. Uh, but, I don't uh, really uh, posters and amiibos, but they're game related. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dude. Beautiful women in my life. My life. Oh boy. It's one. Uh, I collect those. I collect hearts. Oh my! Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't really collect anything, man. I, um, uh, Miami Dolphins hats. I do have really? six, six Miami Dolphins hats. Yeah, I only like really top tier football teams. Like if your team. Hasn't ever had an undefeated season with a championship at the end, then you're probably not a good enough team. Has there any other teams that have done that? Nope. <laughs> oh, <that's pretty> <laughs> um, I collect. Well, the uh, there's this children's book series called Redwall. I uh, read them a lot when I was a kid. Read the first one with mom, and uh, I collect them and all variants of them. I have about I don't know 36 Redwall books. I have two that are signed by uh, the author, which is pretty cool. Solid. Mark Jacobs, right? Brian Jacques. That's it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't really... Some books. I do read books a lot, uh, but yeah. I wouldn't say I collect them. No, that's the only one that I actively collect. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, how about you guys? What else do you collect? Yeah. Tubby Mora. What uh, do you collect? Yeah, just Tubby Mora. I don't really care what everybody else collects. Oh, my. Inc inclusive. Yes, next right. up, thank you for your question, Tubby Moore. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got a question from Julian Vega at JJ1986-2004. And he asks, are the sexy models, uh, or sorry, since SCC Pod and AC Decepticon, this question Phil and Joe, awesome. are the sexy models of the Cartridge Club, do you prefer long, beautiful locks, like Bill, or smooth, soft skin, like Joe? <laughs> Oh my! Uh, I don't think it's any question for me which uh, one of this one, uh, one of the uh, stud to continue boys I find uh, more stud boring. to continue. <laughs> yeah, hashtag stud to continue. You do wear a lot of Under Armour, and podcast. you were bald. I wear a lot of Under Armour. I'm wearing <laughs> Under Armour pants right now. And Joe, I got you. <laughs> um, bald is beautiful, and there's nothing sexier than a cleanly shaved man. Well, if you're taking Joe, I'm taking Bill. Then I like a little. Uh, a little scruffier, you know. I like yeah. to run my hands through some hair, you know. Uh, I feel like uh, that's gonna clog up your drain, man. You're gonna be standing there in the shower. The water's gonna be rising up to your ankles. You're gonna be, what the fuck? You're gonna reach in there with your Q-tip or your little makeshift uh, coat hanger hook, and you're gonna pull out a mat of bill hair. Yeah, but Joe is—he's gonna take you out for dinner, and he's gonna have his way with you, and that'll be it. No, Bill, he no, will. No, 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 no. He will cut. He will be the spoon all night long. I prefer. I would rather be the little spoon. Being the big spoon sucks. A bill would be whatever you wanted to be. <laughs> uh, although being the little spoon is awesome. Yeah, big spoon. Your arm falls asleep. Dude, you can't bill be comfortable. It's definitely going to be the big spoon. <laughs> a bill and Joe. Which one's the big spoon? Uh, Bill's the big spoon. Bill is the big spoon. Yeah. You got to go with Bill. See, but Joe wouldn't even want. Joe would be like, listen. You know, I am. I gotta get up in the morning. I gotta go. I'm comfortable <laughs> just <laughs> sleeping. God, I'm comfortable just sleeping beside you. I don't need to be always touching you for you to know that I have affection for you. So I'm definitely going with uh, with Smooth Bill. Yeah. Or Smooth Joe, sir. <laughs> smooth Joe. Man, if you can Smooth Bill out, holy. There you go. The full deal. Full package. That's right. Um, but yeah, um, I have the same sleeping habits as Joe, so I guess that wouldn't clash. We both probably should have uh, sleep apnea masks. <laughs> no, just take drugs. That's what they gave him. Really? Some sleeping pills. They gave him that? They gave him, I didn't him know sleeping that. pills. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta get in on that. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for your question, Julian. Oh, those two make a great pair. They do. <laughs> because of Joe. So, oh, next up. Right. Love you, Bill. Thanks and for Joe. your question, Julian. And Bill and Joe, thanks for being you. Yeah. Next up, we got Bonus Barrel. Uh, from Rob Woo! at Bonus Barrel says, in honor of last week's episode, he means their last episode, ah. uh, if you had to ship two Nintendo characters together, who would it be? Oh, yeah. Did you listen to the episode and hear yeah. what ship meant? Because yeah. I didn't know. Like, make them date. Yeah. They get together. Get into a relationship. Yeah, I had never heard that phrase before. Nor had I. Um, I just want to go ahead and say that Shelby on that episode said 
Link and Zelda, and that's such a bullshit answer. Dude, I was totally thinking that answer. They're already together. <laughs> I know, but they belong together. Who are you going to put together? Well, I'm going to pick two random people that you wouldn't expect. Just don't say Mario and Luigi because that would be weird. That is sitting here. <laughs> that would be weird. I'm not going to say Mario and Luigi. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say Sean and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, uh, Sam is the Captain Falcon. Uh, yeah, that could work. That could work. He drives and goes really fast. She likes to roll into a ball and go really fast. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Plus, I'm pretty sure they're the only two people who actually look like people. Uh, they are people-ish, yeah. Dude, this is a tough Those one. Those are my two. So who are you going to say? Don't fucking say Link and Zelda. I won't, I won't. I See, I didn't look at the questions beforehand. Um, I'm kind of put on the spot here. I will go with, uh, Peach and, uh, Daisy, you know? Why not? Break down some barriers. It's gay. Yeah. You know? Little goal bat. Yeah. Well, what? G-L-B-T. Oh, boy. Okay, right. that's been... There we go. Tentacle. Goal bat. Okay. Isn't that how that goes? <laughs> Wait, is it wrong? Because I picked two women. I was supposed to pick two men. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Thanks for your question, Rob. <laughs> how about you, Rob? What are you thinking? Uh, I forget what he picked. Yeah, yeah his seven. answer was a bullshit answer, too. <laughs> Next up, we got Retro Pixel. Big question from him. He wants to know, what games have you sold off to later miss or regret and rebought again? Oh, sold off. That's a tough one to answer because... I sold Final Fantasy 1 for the NES. Oh, yes, you did. Uh, Do you remember why? And my electric bass for a pack of smokes and a six-pack, I think it was. It was a slice of pizza. A slice of pizza, that's what it was. <laughs> I was so mad when I found out about that. Oh, so can I pick that too? I regret that <laughs> one. Um, that one's on my list. I haven't technically. But I, I haven't rebought it yet. So does that count? Mm. I will rebuy it. I just haven't yet. Uh, you're going to rebuy it. Well, anyway. I'm going to get it on the NES yeah, Mini. You're going to. Oh boy. Um, I, I, <laughs> I haven't actually sold it off something that I wanted back, but I have lent things out to people, and they haven't oh, given yeah. them back was to it me. Vagrant Story or Valkyrie Profile. Valkyrie Profile. I got a. I got a list. Valkyrie Profile is one of them. Um, man, it's been so long. I don't even remember Mario Super Mario RPG from way back in the day. So apparently, maybe that's Guys of Arcadia that I'm trying to sell. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I still haven't checked. I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, those are the worst. When you lend it out and they don't give it back, why don't yeah. they give it back, man? Because people are scum fucks. Oh. that's why I don't lend things. Oh. If you give somebody something, like you can't. I heard a great rule once that never lend a friend money, give him money, and if he gives you money back, great. But if he doesn't. As soon as you give it to him, expect it to be gone. Never expect to get it back. Yeah. It's the best advice I've ever had because uh, you can really lose friendships over things like money and games and like that. For you sure. lend someone something, then it's gone. So just assume everything's a gift. And, and I'm uh, too freaking nice. This one, this game right here, I don't have that game anymore. Really? Yeah. I, I have the box, obviously. But that game, I gave it to some guy and he said, oh, I gave it back to you. Maybe gave give it back to you. He did not. Just checking your coach cushions? No, he moved away shortly after and uh, never seen the game again. Well, he's a piece of shit. If you're watching this video, whoever you are, guy with Super Mario Bros. 3 Advance 4, give it back! Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Thanks for the question, RetroPixel. <laughs> How about you, RetroPixel? Yeah, you ever uh, you ever sold anything and been regretted it instantly? Yeah, and anybody watching this video, say the same thing down below. No, just RetroPixel. Nobody else answered that question. Oh, please don't listen to him. <laughs> Next up, uh, Musty Hobbit. At Musty Hobbit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Retro Pixel's name, I'm going to have it spelt there, but I forgot to say it's P-I-X-I-L. So. Oh, there you go. Don't fuck that up. People. Although, his handle is E-L. Yeah. That could be confusing. Yeah, it gives me <laughs> fits at night. Musty Hobbit, at Musty Hobbit, says, what's a genre of game that you have a hard time getting into, but wish you could? Oh, oh. genre. Yeah, I gave this one a lot of thought, Musty. Um, oh, strategy RPGs. Ooh. Yeah, really want to. I'm hoping Awakening is going to be the one that gets me in. I tried Arc the Lad, got really far. Just couldn't grasp it. I have no connection to the characters in any strategy RPG game I've ever played. Yeah. So I'm hoping there's a good love story or something in Awakening that'll hold me. Yeah. But that's my answer. Tharja is the love story in Awakening that will hold you. I love it. I'm excited. Yeah. I might um, bring that home from your house tonight. You should. It's fantastic. Make sure I will make sure to return that game to you, though. Uh, I'm going to assume that I'm giving it to you and then I'll never get back. <laughs> Because you're a scum fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, I man. thought it would have musty. Um, like the only genre that I really can't get into is first-person shooters, and I don't care that I can't get into it. 
Um, Sometimes I care. The only... I shouldn't say that. There are very... The the Master Chief uh, series, the, the Halo series, I do wish I could experience that story because I've Me heard too. so many great things. So I guess for the sake of this question, I will specifically say I wish I could get into first-person uh, games just for the Halo franchise. Um, I don't really care about any of the other ones. I'm not interested in Doom or Quake or uh, Duke Nukem or uh, Killzone or Halo Clone or uh, sorry, uh, Aliens Colonial Marines or Alien Isolation, um, Borderlands. Or, like you see, that's the thing is in this same. There's first person shooters and there's just first person games right. like. Mirror's Edge, I, I, I really want to get into it, but I'm afraid I can't because of that view. There are games that come out, and they're like, oh, it's first person. I'm like, oh, man, I really want to. Like the new Resident Evil, I really want to yeah. want to play it, but I do have a hard time with first person. But I do like some first person games. Check out Talos Principle. Oh, yeah. Which you can also play third person. But I've heard of that hey. somewhere before. Yeah, I may have mentioned it a few times. Thanks for the question, Musty. Um, like I said, yeah, it's... First person for... I'm not really upset that I don't like those games. I... Just wish I could enjoy Halo. Yeah, fair enough. Or at least a story. Mm-hmm. Although my friend did offer to play through it with me while I sat in the room and watched. Who? Uh, Nick. Oh, well, ironically, on. it's not the first time he's offered to do something for me while I sat in the room and watched. Thanks for the question. Next up, we have one from Angry Canadian Decepticon <laughs> at AC Decepticon. That's Joe from Joe Joe from uh, STC Pod, and he wants to know if you could insert yourself into any video game and play it in real life. What game would you put yourself into? Okay, so am I in the game, or is the game in... in you are in, going like, into the game. The game oh. is real, you're the main character. Oh, so I would be Cloud in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, or, or I guess you could pick any character. I'm it. just in the world. Yeah. Do I have to be a character? Well, it says uh, you play it in real life, so you play as the main character. Okay. All right. That's tougher then. Yeah, I was going to give the easy answer of Final Fantasy 2 because the story of Cecil is uh, beautiful and Dude, magical. Um, he goes through like heartbreak and his yeah. best friend betrays him. Yeah. It's just like Oops. real life. I shouldn't spoil that because that might be Gets a game me. that comes up. Um, oh, we forgot to mention that. We the vote? The like poll. A, yeah. Um, but, uh, mention that abortion of a poll. I would probably put myself <laughs> in... Um, I don't know, man. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to pick an RPG. I'm going to pick something that I know I've got a long chance of living in and I'll have a lot of fun with it. Um, let's have a quick look at the shelf. I'm going to say... I'm going to say uh, Skies of Arcadia. Yeah. It would be cool to be a Sky Pirate. I think it would be cool to be a Sky Pirate. Yeah. That's my pick. That's okay. That's a good choice. It's a good choice. Um, I, I would probably go... I, I'm going to go with Knights into Dreams. Oh. I just want the outfit. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, but no, you get to fly around. Is that would be fun? It's no. just pure fun. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say Pokemon originally, but uh, that would be cool as well. Yeah, any of them, they're all the same. I'll go with Knights. Um, so what about you, Joe? What kind of game? What game would you like to be? Just Cause Two, the main character. Is that his answer? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's what you're picking. No, that's what I think he's gonna pick. Oh, you think? Yeah, really? Well, he was talking about it on well, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> the one with Hodge, he was talking about it. On. Thanks for your question, Joe. Next up, we got a question from Kyle. Do you think games... How do you think games would be if there were never any sequels? Ooh. Only original titles. Oh my. Uh, I think... I don't know. I think that would suck. <laughs> so the question then becomes... You would, There would be nobody that you'd care about. You'd have no link to the past. There would be no attachment to you'd it. You'd have no Super Metroid. You'd have no Halo 2. But would there be a Super Metroid... That is somebody else. Well, there might be a game similar to it. That's what I mean. Is that what he's... Like, ah, see him verge? That would what happen, he, I guess. Yeah, do you think that would happen? Uh, but you would lose that attachment. Gaming companies wouldn't have a mascot yeah. then. True. Um, then I look at it another way and say the Final Fantasy series. Attached to a lot of those characters, never the same in the, in the following game. That's true. That's true. They, they were the same genre. So Final Fantasy... The Final Fantasy series sort of does this. Yeah. Uh, if you exclude their direct sequels that are mostly garbage. Nobody cares about that. Um, but platformers like Mario series would be a tough one. Imagine a new mask or a new character every platformer. Yeah. A new Mega Man every Mega Man game. That would be insane. <laughs> uh, you'd end up with Mighty Number no. 9. Um, so I guess the question, the answer is we, we like sequels and we don't want them to not. Yeah, and this question uh, scares me and I don't, uh, I don't like it. And I will thank you not to do that again. <laughs> 
Thanks, Thanks Kyle. Question, Kyle. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, a question from Retro Nonsense. So Duke comes at us with these questions. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So Kyle is at Kyle underscore three two five underscore. Duke is at Duke zero six one nine. Duke gives us these questions every week, and uh, it's always like the most in depth. What uh, you know? What is happening in your world? Kind of question. And this huh. one, he says, "How do you feel?" Would be or what do you feel would be the worst NX announcement as far as what it is and how it works and what do you most want it to be? So we'll do fears first. Um, no physical media ever at all. At all. That's my fear. That's your fear. My fear is that. But that's what would be the worst. Um, when it's a mobile device, because at this point I'm assuming that it's a mobile device that can also be played at home. My biggest fear is that as a mobile device. The control scheme is entirely touchscreen. But how would that ever happen? They would have detachable controls on the side. Right, but why would you have to take them off to play it mobily? Because it's too bulky to take like this and play, and it's easier to just take it and use it as like a cell phone or whatever. But the whole thing is that you can play it like Why that. would they be detachable if there was never a reason to detach them? Hmm. So you... That would That's suck. my fear. That would suck. That as a couldn't... mobile platform, the NX is touchscreen only, and that will be a deal breaker for me. I will not. I will not adopt that. So you can't. Like maybe if you have the option to take them off, that's fine with you. But if you're unable to keep them on, right, then it's no good. If okay, if, if, I can agree. If, with if that. as a mobile platform, it's touchscreen only, I'm out. I, I agree with that completely. Although the whole premise that's of my it biggest fear is for you to sit on your couch with it. So why couldn't you just carry it outside like that? I don't know. Why can't I take my Wii U gamepad outside like that? I don't because it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either. We don't know what it is. The fucking thing could be a waffle maker. That is a big fear, though. That's my fear. That as a mobile platform, it's touchscreen only. God, that would suck, dude. Yeah. You haven't thought of that yet? No. Why else would those controllers be detachable? I don't know. I don't want to think about that. My biggest hope. <laughs> big hopes. Is that uh, with the launch of the NX that acts as a mobile the mobile, mobile platform... Mm -hmm. and a home console mm -hmm. with a robust library of games that from all third-party developers and everybody, you know what I mean? I don't need the same games that are on PS4 and Xbox Xbox One, mm. but I would like to have games from Ubisoft, from Bioware, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be the same games ported, but games from those other companies would be good. Right, Capcom um, and whatnot. But my biggest hope is that Nintendo finally uh, unifies all accounts. My Wii U eShop my 3DS eShop and my NX eShop are all one spot, and if I have bought it on one, I own it on all. That would be... That's awesome. my biggest hope. That and $300. Oh, good That's price point. That's my price point. Um, what I want is... Uh, I just want a good launch, dude. I want Mario, a Zelda. I want, it here. I want them to announce a Metroid. I don't know. I just want all the classic series. The Wii U doesn't get its own Zelda. Doesn't get its own Metroid. What else? Doesn't get F Zero. Doesn't get anything. What does it get? Wonderful One Hundred One. But I mean, for, I'm talking a Nintendo IP, like a Nintendo Super Mario Three D World. It's a pretty big title. Yeah, it gets Mario. Splatoon. It was the birthplace of Splatoon, which was pretty popular. Yeah. Uh. Just. I don't know. Yoshi's Willy World, Don Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. Those are Tropical good. Freeze is good. That's true. That is true. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I, I just want, I want it to be a return, I guess, to all the original series. Just don't make me do it like a bullshit touchscreen, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your question, Duke. Yeah, thanks, Duke. What about you? Yeah, I, what are your, what, yeah, Duke, what is your biggest fear and what's your biggest hope for the NX? Yeah. Oh, and I want it to be um, what we think it is. I want it to be, you can play it at home, you can pick it up and go and play that same game yeah. outside. No break, no pause, no, no maybe load it, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. If that's to load up, whatever, that's fine. Yeah. But I want to be able to play the game while I'm out. Next up, Diego Avila at A Latino Lawyer asks, what is your favorite game to play with your wife and your kids? Ooh. Uh, for me, I enjoy playing... All games with my wife. Um, usually nothing multiplayer, because if we have the option to throw each other down pits or interrupt each other's jumps in Mario Brothers, uh, it ends in a fight. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed uh, Child of Light. Uh, we played that on the Wii U. 
It was Colleen's first ever RPG, and uh, at first she was a little skeptical about it, and when you play on the Wii U as a second player, you control this little sprite, and his only job is to help the person getting through it by freezing enemies and helping them in combat stuff. So I essentially just went along and helped make it a little easier for her. Um, she played through the whole story, and at the end of it, she cried. Uh, <coughs> that's a good RPG. And then I cried because she was crying, and she loves it so much that uh, we've actually decided to make the first dance at our wedding Aurora's theme from Child of Life. Dude, that's huge. Uh, and uh, Nestromancer was going to come up with uh, his own version of it uh, for us for the wedding. And I think he was going to play it there, but I'm Ooh, not sure. So. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, I probably have to say that one. All right. Child of Life. How about uh, with kids? Uh, I like Splatoon? watching my kid play Splatoon. She's yeah. really, really good at Splatoon. Uh, or Mario Kart. She's pretty decent at that, too. Um, and again, I don't want to play with her because she kicks my ass. She's good. But uh, I really enjoy watching her play those competitive games because she is uh, exceptional at them. Yeah. Um, me and Megan, every Mario game that comes out, we play it together and we've been 100% it together. Um, and as for kids... Um, well, she's, old, she's three months old, but we did play Captain Toad together, and she really um, likes the music to Captain Toad. Um, so as a family, that's the only one we've really played together so far, so I guess I'll go with that one. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Diego. Uh, there's one more question from my wife, and it's not really a question. Um, it's a story she wants me to tell. So she's asking, uh, would you wear Ed Hardy jeans? What do they look like? So we went for suit. Oh, they're douchebag jeans. Oh, so we went for suit that. that. Uh, the other night, and I sat against the wall, and her and her daughter sat on the other side of the table next to the window. And at one point, I noticed her leaning back and looking out the window. So I looked, and I saw a rather uh, fit uh, man uh, standing there. He had a gray T-shirt on. Was it Joe? Of, no. pair of jeans. Shaved head, though. Oh. And, but she wasn't looking at him. So I was like, oh, well, he must have a friend that she's looking at. I said, okay, he probably is a guy in good shape. She's having a look at him. So I waited uh, for 15 seconds or so, and she's just staring at the window at this guy. So I reached over with my... Um, chopsticks and I put them on her sushi roll and I waited and she's still staring at this guy and then I picked up her sushi roll and I put it to my mouth and I waited so at this point her daughter notices her eyeball fucking this guy outside oh boy. Eyeball. and so her daughter was like oh man mom's checking this guy out and Sean's right here this isn't cool I'm gonna try and discreetly get her attention away so Tennille goes mom uh, do you want to try one of my kamikaze rolls kamikaze rolls are delicious I Colleen mean. goes in a minute. <laughs> Still staring at this guy. So I eat the sushi roll that I had. I'm sure it wasn't this direct. Staring at it. It was like a minute and a half. <laughs> a minute so then and eventually him and his friend walk by to go into the restaurant next door. And I catch a glimpse of the guy. And he's wearing this pair of like dark blue Ed Hardy jeans with the big rivets and like a weird tribal design up the leg. Dude, that and sounds a, And a awesome. black t-shirt with a skull on it. And Whoa. he had a barbed wire tattoo around his bicep. Did it say tapped out? And uh, it did not. <laughs> Probably I might have. And they went in, and so Colleen turns around and looks at me, and I said, did you have a good look? And she goes, at, at what? And I was like, at the fucking pair of Ed Hardy jeans over there. <laughs> that you were just staring at. And she got all flustered, and we had a good laugh at it. Um, <laughs> and uh, you owned three pairs of Ed Hardy jeans. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. She was like, he was really pretty. And I said, was he pretty enough to pay off all your debts and put up with your kid? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Still married. So I guess that's a no. That's the show. That's a no. <laughs> yep. So.